Hi guys, my name is Roger, Roger's Run and Adventures, and today I am with Frankie Kington, and we have decided to talk about believing in yourself. And if you like this kind of topic, please be sure to subscribe and press that little bell so, so you get notifications, so you don't miss any video on this kind of topic. So while be, believing in yourself, I think it's a crucial topic because a lot of people, when the time has come, they a lot of them wish they had enough courage to have done what they would have liked to do in their lives. And finding out when you are on your way out is, is sad because it's a bit too late. But at least those people have the, co the courage to acknowledge that they missed out on something. So I think it's, it's, it's crucial to do our utmost to be able to change our thoughts. Because if you can change your thoughts, you can change your vision. So in other words, if you can change the cause, you can change the effect. So the cause will be here to have good thoughts. So I'll give you three examples. The three examples are as follows. Often we, we hear from people, we often say to ourselves, I am not good enough to do this. Or I am not good enough because, or I am not as good as he is in math, for example. So I cannot be a doctor. Or I cannot be a scientist. And yet you just don't know that, do you? Or you're not good enough because this guy over there or that lady over there is fatter than I am. How do you know? Okay, so what I would say, I am not good enough needs to be changed to I am good enough. So change your thoughts. So I am good enough and keep telling yourself that. And also there is another one we we tend to to say to ourselves is say, I am not confident or I am not confident enough or it's not for me. Or for example, I am not confident enough to speak in front of a crowd or, you know, or that's not for me. But then you don't know, do you? So you could replace that phrase by I am confident. I am confident enough to speak in front of people. If I am not changed that thought about my personal an example of speaking in public and which I have done quite a few times now through Toastmasters and other organizations if I did believe I still wasn't confident enough then I probably wouldn't have a YouTube channel to start with so bear that in mind Toastmasters and other organizations Roger that has helped you yeah Toastmasters helped me a lot then after that, I, I joined uh, the Speak Up Challenge. And now, because I have made the causes to do that, and we have the luxury or the opportunity to speak in the live Speaker Challenge, and through that, to be able to speak in the online, in the virtual summit on the 27th of March, which I, I, I think is fantastic. Without me changing my thoughts, then that would not have happened. And the opportunity will still be out there, but somebody else would have taken it. Somebody else would have been in, instead of me at, my, at the spot, okay? At the spot I have for, the, for that date. And now, I, I've got to believe I am confident enough you know, that's going to happen again and that's not it's not going to be just a one-off I am confident enough you know, that's going to happen again yeah that's important to say that yeah because we got to keep growing and I am weak as well oh I am too weak I yeah for example if you do sports at school and then you're a, a bit smaller than your mates and and your uh, peers and stuff like that oh yeah I'm I'm, I'm too weak I'm not going to be able to uh, to play volleyball, for example. But then who knows, you could be a very good defender. You can have fantastic reflexes. You just don't know, okay? So I am not weak. That's why you got to tell yourself, I am not weak, okay? So, and then often to do that, I have noticed a lot of people mention about comfort zone. So what do you understand by comfort zone, Frankie? And what tips could you actually tell our audience out there about comfort zone? I mean, we all have a comfort zone, Roger, eh? We all have a comfort zone, but are we stretching that comfort zone? Are we coming out of that comfort zone? Comfort zone, we're comfortable. We step out of the comfort zone. My saying is, be comfortable being uncomfortable. <laughs> because when you're stepping out of the comfort zone, you're becoming uncomfortable because you've never been there before. So I, I always say, consistency, persistence, practice makes perfect. Doing things over and over again gets easier and easier and easier. So your comfort zone... You step out of the comfort zone. Be comfortable being uncomfortable. Keep on practicing. Keep on learning. Face a fear and do it anyway. Just face that fear and do it anyway. So you overcome and you get more comfortable at doing challenging tasks. Because the idea is to keep practicing. Practice makes perfect. But we're striving for perfection. Then there is another thing as well. Is that we got nothing to prove to anyone. We got nothing to hide and nothing to pretend. We got nothing to prove you are who you are. We we don't have to um, be acknowledged by someone just to decide what you want to do. We got nothing to prove to anybody. Okay, and that's I think very important because sometimes we tend to and nothing to hide. You are who you are. What would you hide? What would you try to pretend to be somebody else? Just be yourself. 
And the other one is nothing to pretend. We can't be, I can't, we can't pretend to be somebody we're not. We can't pretend to, uh, that doesn't make sense. So we cannot pretend. So in, in other words, be authentic, be true to yourself. And I think that's crucial. And also I would say this, I've read a book of uh, the author is Bronnie Ware. And it's a very, very well, inspirational book. One of the things she mentioned in her book is that a lot of people who are, when their time are coming to an end on this planet, often they say, I wish I had the courage to do what I wanted to do. Okay, it must be very hard. And I think I really, very humble I can hear that because to acknowledge that on your way out, it's quite something. At least they gave some sense of relief. And I remember very well, actually, of a, a old lady who used, uh, who I've seen a few times. And she's, she, said that, she said that exactly. I wish I had made the decision. And I kept kept postponing it. I can't remember what the decision was about. I can't remember what the, her decision was, but that's what she said. So guys out there, don't forget, you've got nothing to prove, you've got nothing to hide, and nothing to pretend. And also, I would like to add this, do not compare yourself to somebody else. And I'll tell you why. Because when I've done that in the past, and I'm guilty of it, if I can put it that way, I had a tendency to compare myself to other people. But I will always find somebody who will be ahead of myself because their life is different. And so they will have gone through a journey which is different to yours. So let's say I want to set up a business. Then I will come across people who already had businesses before me. And there is billions out there, people who have businesses before me. Some successful, not some not so successful. But if I compare myself to them, I'm going to feel down. Wow, I'm not that good. But remember, yes, you are. I am good enough. Oh, I am too weak. I can't possibly raise that kind of money. No, you're not. I am not weak. I'm not very confident. They already are those businesses. How can I get there? I am confident. So guys, do it for yourself. Do it to help people out. But do not compare yourself to other people. Just focus on what you want to achieve. So remember, you've got nothing to prove, nothing to add, nothing to pretend. And guys, let's not be on our way out to the other world with, without having had the courage to change what we need to change. Okay. So guys, you like this kind of video, please do subscribe, like, and share. We'll be very grateful. That will be a great way to support our channel, very much channel. And then I will also uh, put in the, in the in the card and in the link below, uh, find his channel and to discover what he does because he's, but you will discover what he does. Just please watch his channel because his score is known by the wise entrepreneur. So again, nothing to prove, nothing to write, nothing to pretend. So guys, see you next time in the next video and press that little bell. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.